that Singapore is a melting pot of cultures and the best example of that is probably laksa. Blending both the Chinese and Malay styles of cooking, laksa is really the best of both worlds. We Singaporeans love our laksa so much that with the discussion of which is the best laksa in town, it's enough to stir a big debate. Do you know that the famous Katong Laksa was inspired by the Peranakans who lived in that area, hence the name Katong Laksa, which lives on even today. Hi everyone, my name is Trish and I'm from The Open Kitchen. Today I will teach everyone how to make Singapore famous um, Noya Laksa. So these are all the ingredients that we will need to prepare this dish. Firstly, we will need the ingredients for the rempa. And for the rempa, we will need the lemongrass, shallots, turmeric, which is the yellow ginger, galanga, blue ginger, the balachan, shrimp paste, the ginger, garlic and candle nuts, also the chilli paste for blending into a rempa later on. For the rest of the ingredients will be our toppings, which includes the laksa noodle. This is the tofu puff, which we always call then the tau pok. And fish cake, tiger prawn, dry stream, laksa leaf, bean sprout, hard boiled eggs, coconut milk, and some evaporated milk. So these are all the ingredients that we'll need to complete. So the first step we are going to do is to actually peel and slice all these ingredients for making the rempa paste. And then we will put that in the blender to blend it. So first of all, we need to actually peel all the ginger. You also need about 5 slices of this. And for the lemon glass, you need to actually remove the outer part layer. And we are ready to blend them. And pour in the chili paste. Okay, now we are done. You should get a smooth consistency. Like this. So in a heated wok, you have to add some oil. So once the wok is heated, you can add in your rempa paste. You can also add in the dry shrimp at this point of time. You need to continue to stir fry this for about 10 to 15 minutes until the oil and the paste start to separate. So when your rempa is cooking in another wok, you can actually prepare another pot of boiling water to blanch your tiger prawn. So now you can see our rempa is ready. It has actually turned darker in colour. And this is the time whereby we can actually add some water in and also the coconut milk. So after uh, simmering for about 5-10 minutes, you can actually remove the prawn shell and you can actually add them inside the rempa. After you have finished chopping the laksa leaf, you will keep half for little use. So the rest of the half of the laksa leaf, you will just put it inside the soup. And now we will cut the tofu puff. When the laksa soup is actually simmering, we could actually blanch the bean sprout, the fish cake and the laksa noodle. So once the tofu puff has started to soften, we can actually add in the coconut milk. Now we can also add in our seasoning. Some gula malaka. Now our laksa soup is almost ready. We can actually add in one ladle of the 
evaporated milk. Now our soup is done and we are ready to dish out.